So got the uh, box swapped out on the axle. So you can kind of see it over there, but uh, maybe kind of difficult to see actually at this angle. Um, swapped the block around, then uh, had a couple of setbacks. So got the uh, this dude taken apart. Um, need to measure for some mounting bracket system there. Um, need to pull that out. Not really useful anymore. Tried to put the ignition coils on. Those are the wrong. These are apparently built for Holly valve covers, which I went ahead and just bought Holly valve covers and I also bought a new one of these. I am actually using aftermarket coils since I bought a long box. So I'm using these really, whatever, Holly's coils. They're supposed to be more powerful, whatever. Probably are, maybe not. But uh, so I got valve covers and I also got a different rail system to put it on. Um, pop this dude in the back off, put the new one on, torqued it to the torque spec, got the, uh, got the connector in it. And uh, that is pretty much covering it for the night. Um, I think I might call it quits here, give it a clean up and go. One thing I did discover is the genius let's use the nice term here the genius that was in here before me had this piece of shit on one of the um the whatever you want to call them u-bolts on the rear end this is not the right size bolt this guy was an absolute moron lucky he didn't get himself killed driving this thing to and from work i mean it's probably okay there's a shitload of safety factor in the other one most likely but just stupidity at its finest so gotta get a new u-bolt because that thing is all messed up and buggered up but um i think tomorrow i might mess with exhaust and hopefully i mean summit's a fast shipper so hopefully i'll have new stuff to start doing the plugs i would like to start getting wiring done um i bought some um adapters to go from brake line to an so i can just run it into the cab um the extra distance i don't know it's six one half a dozen the others and talk to some friends of mine see what they have to say but gonna pull the factory harness out gonna snake the holly harness through and get this fuse box in there as well because most of the crap i want to power is in there i can pull a few wires back up front but uh yeah um made some good progress got some stuff in for the fuel system uh got some i don't think i brought them out here but i've got all of the stuff to run the uh cooling system up to the engine that's uh that's pretty much where i am on this i might come back out here and put the starter on actually tonight and get that finished and crossed off the list and torqued down um it's probably a 20 to 30 minute project at the most so uh need to make progress somewhere every single day but uh yeah feeling pretty good about this um just ready to get her done